Good morning. This is Monday Morning Motivation. For the past few weeks, I've been speaking on what is commonly called the Lord's Prayer. And today I will conclude this series. Jesus told his disciples, in this manner pray, or pray according to this method. As I have said before, this is not a prayer that we are to recite from memory, but it is a model to guide us when we pray. Now, there are those who already have a fervent and successful prayer life, and my intention is not to change your style of prayer, but for those who struggle to pray and who don't know what to say when you pray, this is for you. If you follow this pattern, prayer can become meaningful and effective. The first statement Jesus made, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Begin prayer with worship and honor to the Father. The word hallowed means honored as holy. The first step in any prayer is to honor and worship God, recognizing him as your father. The one who created the heavens and the earth is your father, so you ought to reverence him. He is a good father who loves you and wants an intimate relationship with you. Begin in prayer by calling him father and worshiping his name brings you into his presence the right way with reverence and awe, but also with intimacy and relationship. You aren't just praying to some distant God. You're praying to your Father in heaven who knows you fully and loves you deeply. Secondly, pray that God's kingdom will come. Jesus said, your kingdom come. This is where you pray that the Lordship of Christ will be established in your life and that you will not only recognize him as your king, but also give full expression to his kingdom in how you live. Pray that you'll you'll put his kingdom first before your own agenda. Here you can also pray that the kingdom will be established in the lives of others, that sinners will be saved and call upon the name of the Lord. Pray for your unsaved relatives and friends, and that the kingdom will come to societies as his people, including yourself, share the gospel. Finally, pray that the king will soon return and establish his kingdom in the earth. Next, pray God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The will of God is his his purpose and intent that he has determined to come to pass in the earth. This means that God has a plan and purpose for every life and he wants us to pray his will even over our own will because the ultimate goal of prayer is not to try to convince him of our will but to align our will with his. Praying God's will to be done in our lives puts his agenda before our own. Pray that you will carry out his plans and purposes in the earth as he has determined it in heaven. And how is his will done in heaven? Swiftly, without argument, with excellence. And this is what he wants done in the earth. Pray that you will not resist him, especially when he requires something of you that goes against your plans, your desires, and even your personality. Pray also that his will be done in your family, in your nation, and in your church. Then give us this day our daily bread. Here we transition into praying for the provision of our needs, no matter how seemingly insignificant or mundane. We all have needs, and God knows that, and he wants to meet our needs. So he asks us to pray for our provision. Here, You can pray about material needs, physical needs, like healing and food, financial, emotional, or spiritual needs. Pray for the things that you need and thank Him for all He has already blessed you with. Also pray for those who are in need and remember them every time. And as you pray, believe that God will hear and answer your prayer. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. The word debt, 
and even debtor. Here means moral failings. In this section, ask God to forgive you on the same basis you forgive those who hurt you. And the thing about it, there will be people who will offend us. And you can't get away from that, all right? Just remember that. Now, this is a very serious prayer. However, as you pray this section, be mindful that if there is anyone you are holding in your heart, you should forgive them. Ask the Father to give you a heart like His so that you can easily show compassion and forgiveness. And do so being aware that if you do not forgive when people do you wrong, neither can your Heavenly Father forgive you when you do wrong. And forgiveness ties the hand of God on our behalf. Then lead us into temptation, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Now, this is not asking God to not lead us into temptation, but rather that we would not be led into yielding to temptation, or do not allow us to be led into temptation. Pray for strength and grace to resist every temptation from the devil, knowing that part of your strength against the devil comes through prayer. Also pray for grace to go through any trial that may come your way. Pray also for protection and deliverance from the evil one, the devil. As you have a real enemy who loves to attack God's people in so many different ways. This part of the prayer is important because our flesh can be weak against temptations and trials. Though we can withstand and overcome through the strength of God, it is way better to steer clear of temptation from the beginning. And then, for yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We end as we began with praise and worship to God, declaring that his kingdom is forever, his unlimited power is forever, and the glory belongs to him forever. This is a good time to just praise God as directed by the Holy Spirit. Or you can even open, the, open up to the Psalms. There are a lot of praise Psalms and read them and praise God and then use your own words to praise him. As you pray this method of prayer, you will discover that your time with God will increase from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour. I pray that you were encouraged by this series and that you will look at Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13 through fresh eyes with a renewed approach to prayer. May God bless you abundantly as you seek the Lord with all your heart. Thanks for joining me today for Monday Morning Motivation. See you again next Monday at 6 a.m. Have yourself a wonderful week.